Chapter 1 A crisp breeze tickled my collar as I walked on the downtown sidewalk of Autumn Heights. Orange, yellow, red, and brown leaves were rustling in the gentle wind, reminding me that winter would soon be coming. I had just come from the bicycle shop, the spare wheel. The bike shop repairman was currently busy, but would have my bicycle wheel replaced within the hour, which worked for me as I was busy doing errands downtown. Pulling my coat a little tighter around me, I waited at the crosswalk for the light to change. Autumn Heights was a small town with an old downtown with brick storefronts abutting each other, each with their decorations for the season. It was October in Autumn Heights, and no other town in all the country did Autumn quite like the citizens of this small town. The light changed, and I briskly walked across the street, headed for the Lazy Bookworm, a bookshop where I enjoyed spending time browsing the titles they had for sale. It was one of my daughter Kat's favorite places, too, and I was supposed to meet her there before we went grocery shopping, then home for supper. "'Oh, look, they're back!' exclaimed a young teenager on the sidewalk, craning their neck to look down the street. "'How exciting!' "'Cool!' one of their friends said, also looking. Stopping, I looked as well. Down the street, I could see large trucks hauling midway equipment, cutting down a side street towards the fairgrounds. This weekend was the annual Autumn Heights Fall Fair. It was always fun to go, with all sorts of contests, rides, and great food. I had always enjoyed going to the fair each year, and I knew that Cat loved it even more. She was still at the magical stage, where the fall fair was exciting to go to with her friends as she learned independence. I sighed. It wasn't as much fun going as an adult alone. However, I had volunteered this year to help with the Autumn Heights Ladies Auxiliary Luncheon. We were raising funds for beautifying the town square, which we felt could use a freshening up. The bathrooms and pavilion were in need of remodeling and updating, plus the fountain could use a mechanical overhaul. So, for the past year, most of the group funds had been saved into a pot to make it happen. The fair was going to hopefully bring in enough money to make it happen should the project stay on the quoted budget amount. I had a smile on my face as I entered the bookshop. A little bell rang on the door, and I breathed in the familiar smell of ink and paper. Books cluttered every available shelf, table, and window ledge. The green paint on the walls and wood furniture was welcoming. New and used, it was all for sale at the Lazy Bookworm. There were no signs in the bookshop to let you know where each section was. Over time, residents simply became familiar with the owner Jefferson Havar's method of organization. Literature was at the back, near the lamp. Romance was at the front window. Large print was at the front counter. Fantasy was in the middle aisle on the right. History, middle aisle on the left, and so on. Everyone who was a visitor simply had to ask whoever was working that day to help them find the category or genre that they preferred. Gravitating towards the front window, I decided I wanted to have some easy fluffy drama romance to distract me from my nighttime reading before bed. One of my favorite romance authors was due to have her next book in her series, The Ramsley Brothers, release, and I wondered if the shop was going to stock it. I was looking forward to reading Henry and Cora's second chance romance and finding out who was behind all the troubles the family was facing. Unfortunately, as I looked over the offerings in the new part of the romance section, I didn't see it yet. Perhaps the next time I was in, they would have it. If not, I would ask Jefferson to order it for me. Grabbing a used book from a new author I hadn't read before, but liking the cover and the teasing blurb on the back, I looked around for Cat. Her taste in reading was so varied, she could be anywhere in the shop. Sometimes she was into books where heroines fought dragons or solved cozy mysteries. Other times, Cat was knee-deep in some political book which went well over my head in understanding. Lately, Cat had been on a kick about learning more about what she would need to get into an Ivy League college. I really didn't want to disappoint her. But if that were to happen, Cat was going to have to get major scholarships. While I did believe she was fully capable of doing so, 
It was a bit daunting, from my end, when I looked at her college fund, that I had been slowly saving money into over the years. Looking at the self-help section, I noticed a book on meeting goals and taking actionable steps to increase your life's potential. Stopping to study it for a moment, I reflected that I wasn't sure I had many goals other than to pay my bills and raise my daughter. Taking a look at the price, I made a face and put it back on the shelf. That was when I noticed a dark shadow in the thriller section of the bookshop. My heart fluttered in my chest, and I had a sinking feeling. Stepping closer, I pressed my romance book against me, as if to ward off what I knew was coming. Standing there, cloaked in a dark robe, was a grim holding a Halloween slasher novel with a pumpkin on the front. I hope you're enjoying Two Drops of Chaos, an Autumn Heights and Cozy Novella mystery. You can find all my books on Amazon. Have a great day and happy reading!